Just days after China handed over abducted Arunachal teen to the Indian Army, the teenager has now narrated a shocking ordeal in custody uh, with the Chinese troops. 17-year-old teenager, identified as Miram Taron, revealed that Chinese Army personnel tied his hands, took him to a jungle. There he was given electric shocks on the first day of torture itself. The teenager was out hunting with his friends when the Chinese army caught him. He claims that at first he couldn't recognize if they were Indian forces or Chinese troops, but once captured, he was tied up, his hand cuffed, he was taken to the Chinese army camp and at that camp he was beaten. He says the Chinese army gave him food and water to survive though. The Arunachal teen went missing on the 18th of January when he was at the international border. He was recently handed over back to his family by the Indian Army, following which he was accorded a grand reception by villagers there as well. The Indian Army contacted PLA through a hotline, told the Chinese Army there to locate the youth and return, his, return him back to the Indian troops at the earliest. In fact, many days later, it wasn't done immediately, many days later, the Chinese troops finally handed over this teen to our Indian forces. Hmm. दिन 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 में चार बार खाना खिला खाना खिलाता हूँ हम्म खाना तो रोटी की ताऊ लोग का मतलब पर्सनल को तो तो टॉर्चर किया उसका बात दूसरा दिन से तो तो चाइनी खर्चा तो नहीं किया हम्म ये ह्यूमन बैलेंसेंस है एंड इन ह्यूमन एक्ट है बाय द फीले इसको हम लोग टेकअप करेंगे गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया और आर्मी इसको प्लेक मीटिंग में टेकअप करना चाहिए हमें डर तो नहीं लगता मगर हम मायूस जरूर है हम परेशान जरूर है दुख जरूर है कि सरकार जो है हमारे बॉर्डर पर रोड नहीं बया हमारे गांव के लोग वहां से आ रहे हैं टाउन में ईआरओ की जो घटि है ना स्नेल की तरह है शायद उन लोगों का आजकल काम करने का तरीका पता नहीं क्या हुआ है बहुत दिमा चल रहा है now i'm going to cut across to indrajit kundu joining us live from kolkata indrajit this boy 17 year old uh, teenager who's been handed over back to his family as he receives a grand re reception from his village it appears that his trauma is here to stay he's uh, detailed in a conversation about the way the chinese troops tortured him well absolutely and these are sensational claims that have been made by this uh, 17 year old uh, youngster from uh, arunachal pradesh in a very bordering uh, area. Uh, he lives in a very bordering village uh, uh, near Chinese border. And what he said was uh, that uh, it was night, uh, night time. It was dark when he was out uh, hunting with his friends. And uh, it was during that time that PLA soldiers surrounded him and then captured him. What he first told me was that he was tied up by a rope. Then he was handcuffed. Then he was, uh, you know, his face was masked by a cloth. And he was taken to a PLA camp where he made the sensational allegation that he was tortured. He was beaten up. He says that he still has pain in his body. Finally, he was handed over to the Indian authorities. He was given a warm reception by his uh, friends and family in the village. But of course, it's going to be a traumatic experience, not just for the 17-year-old, but for other teenagers, other civilians in that village, because uh, they keep uh, going to areas for hunting, and right. this is the situation they're saying what's going to happen in the days to come. Indraji, thank you very much, but we're really thankful that this teenager has been brought back to his family. He's now doing safe, but hopefully recovers, recovers from the trauma, the torture that he was meted out by the Chinese troops.